Okay, wake up out there. I hope you're paying attention because this is important. This is our planet. It's where we live. And it's pretty awesome. Every day, everywhere on Earth, billions of people like you and me roll out of bed and start the day. A day full of things to see and do. Decisions to be made, work to be done. In short, another day of life on Earth. The world around us is full of information, stuffed with it, really, and with decisions to be made. The way we handle information, the way we organize it and give it meaning is called, okay, yes, I know you know this, it's called thinking. Thinking is amazing. I mean, what if we couldn't think? What if we could only take in and stockpile information like a hard drive, but not create our own ideas with it? Not good, am I right? Lots of information makes us informed, but lots of thinking makes us smart. There are just some things you can't Google. Information alone isn't enough to solve problems. That's where thinking comes in. Thinking is how we build meaning from information, an action we are doing all the time, whether we are aware of it or not. Being aware of how we think and how the world works is called systems thinking. And, just like almost anything we do, we can get better at it. So let's say we want to be systems thinkers. What do we need to do? Think about our thinking. We use thinking to turn information into knowledge. We build knowledge from the information we are taking in from our senses, every moment of our lives. Check out this dog. You might be willing to pet him. Or... You might not. It's your mental model that makes the difference. Mental models are knowledge. They are what we build when we make meaning out of information, memories, and experiences. Just as your experiences are unique to you, so are the mental models you build. And the mental models you build are a powerful thing, because they determine how you feel. <laughs> you act. Mental models don't depend on words or language. From the moment we are born, we are building mental models. And for babies, that's a whole lot of building, because almost everything is news to them. So we are all building our own mental models all the time. But how do we do it? How are we building mental models? Since thinking makes the difference, what exactly are we doing when we are thinking? We use four simple patterns of systems thinking to build all of our mental models. We make distinctions between things and other things, between identity and other. We organize things into systems, systems of parts and wholes. We identify relationships of action and reaction, or cause and effect. We take perspectives from a point to a view. And all four patterns are happening all together, all the time. In your head, in their heads. Who knew? Making distinctions is easy. We do it all the time. Everything has an identity. You, 
coffee. The color red. Happiness. The USA. But where does that identity come from? It comes from the other. You know, all the stuff that is not that thing. We make distinctions with all of our senses. Making distinctions is seeing what an object or an idea is, and what it is not. Your distinctions are probably different from everyone else's, but that's part of what makes life interesting. Another way thinking works is by organizing things into systems. Systems of parts and holes. Systems can be really big or really small, really complicated or really simple, but they're always made up of parts. And most parts have parts too. Anything we think, just like anything we build, is made up of parts. Consider a toilet and a sink. Each is a collection of smaller parts all working together to function as a larger whole. And they're each parts of a larger system that includes where the water comes from and where it goes. Systems thinking helps us see that all the water on Earth is connected in one planet-sized system. With lots and lots of parts. Sometimes we pay attention to the individual parts of a system. Sometimes it's more helpful to see the whole. Systems give us a framework to understand the world. Being aware of relationships is important too. You might think that relationships are only about families or friends. Relationships exist among ideas and objects, too. A relationship is an interaction, a cause, an effect, or an action and reaction. Relationships are happening over the teeny tiny spaces between atomic particles and over the vastness of the universe. Understanding relationships and interconnections can be important in lots of ways. Sometimes seeing a new relationship or seeing an old relationship in a new way can spark a new idea. To see the importance of how ideas affect each other is to see things differently, to build new knowledge, to solve problems that matter. Relationships exist everywhere, between atoms, galaxies, fellow scientists, or two people in the same family. As we live our lives every day, we make distinctions. We organize things into systems. We relate things and we, oh, okay, this is the fourth pattern of thinking. We take different perspectives on the world around us. We navigate city streets using the perspective of space, angles, and speed to predict hazards and holdups. Every perspective has a point and a view. We can look at things from the perspective of other people, other nations, other ideas. Sometimes it helps us understand things to see them from a particular point of view. Our point of view shapes what we think about something, the mental model we build to understand it. Perspective determines not just what we look at, but what we really see. Perspective is at the root of so many things that matter in human society. Empathy, compassion, connectedness. 
perspective determines the way we relate to one another and the world around us. Like, what's your perspective on parties? On art? On systems thinking? Systems thinking helps us see underlying patterns and structures and can lead us to think of all kinds of new things. You can see more different identities than others. Parts and holes, actions and reactions, and points of view in the world around us. And it makes it all the more exciting and interesting when you have the ability to think things through. Understanding how you think helps you be a better student, artist, musician, parent, scientist, athlete, friend, and citizen. And it's easy. All you have to do is pay special attention to the way your brain is already operating. Thinking about thinking. Systems thinking. When we understand how we think, ideas that can change the world become possible. Life is full of surprises and the unknown. Who knows what you'll think up next?